Hey guys, it's Stacey. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the struggles of being a Christian teen and how to overcome them. Basically how this is going to work is that I got my friends on First 5 to tell me any of their struggles that they faced being a Christian teen and I'll just be talking about them and talking about how to overcome those struggles and I hope you enjoy. So the first one is from Valeria and she says one of my biggest struggles as being a Christian teen is sharing his word at school. I've tried many times, but I always end up talking about some event going on at church. Another one is dressing modestly. I really find this one challenging because everywhere I dress differently than any everyone else except at church. So this one is very relatable. All of them are so relatable. Um, so I guess for like sharing the word at school, this is what I find really hard as well. Because like at school, everyone is like your age and like it's not like going to a different country and sharing the word because you know you're not going to see them again. But when you're at school, it's just, I don't know, but it just feels more scary because like these are the people you'd be spending like so many years with. In my previous video, I did a video all about evangelism and tips for evangelizing and stuff like that. So you should totally go check that out. And I think on that, I asked for any advice. And then someone commented, I don't really remember who it was. I'll put a screenshot. And she was saying that just picture the smile on God's face when he sees like you sharing his word. And that just made me think like a lot. Like it's so true though. Like imagine how happy God would be like knowing that you're sharing his word. And I guess there's so many different ways to share the word. You don't just limit it to just like talking to someone about Jesus. There are loads of different ways. You can literally just like post a Christian quote on your Instagram or on your Pinterest account or anything. And that is still a way of sharing the gospel. For like my WhatsApp bio, I just put today I choose Jesus because I want to try and be as, as open about my faith as possible so that everyone knows that yes, I am a Christian. Yeah, about the modesty part. Um, a lot of people think that like to be modest you just have to wear like long skirts that are up to your feet but of course you don't have to, you can still wear loads of trendy outfits and still be modest. There are loads of modest outfits on Pinterest that I found, there are so many of them and there are loads of different clothing ideas that you can search up and so you can have like some kind of idea of what to dress and like the kind of combinations you can put up so that's what I usually like doing as well. The next one I have is from Hannah and she says I think one of the biggest struggle is just being so different from everyone else. When you don't say certain things or be obsessed over a boy, it just shows how different you are. I don't want to be like the world, but it's hard to be different. This again is so relatable about just like being different and being set apart from everyone. We have to remember that God has called us to be set apart and if we end up being like everyone else in the world then like what is the point of even being a Christian? The other part about like being obsessed with her voice I totally get what you mean because like at school and everything almost everyone has a boyfriend I was asking if you had one before and like everyone is in a relationship no one is wanting to save themselves anymore and I guess that that part can also kind of make you feel different than to everyone else but we should know that that's like a good thing and I guess it's all about knowing your purpose and knowing like what is your purpose at this moment like for me my purpose right now is to just finish school and yeah that's basically just my purpose for me right now and there's no point in me getting a boyfriend if I'm for one I'm still young and for two I don't need one at this point in my life so the next one is from Bianca and she says I'm an introvert and I'm totally scared of evangelizing I evangelized before with my friends my youth pastor and my co-disciples but never alone I know I'm not given a spirit of fear but I'm working on it what also scares me is approaching people my age I feel judged by them I feel like an outcast an alien because I'm a Christian I also don't have many friends so I think that's about it I could share more though yeah again this is very relatable I think we've got like a trend of people talking about evangelizing and I totally get what you mean because that is so so scary especially doing it on your own um but I guess the most important thing is as long as you're evangelizing whether alone or with your friends or anything that's like the most important thing just spreading the gospel I watched a video a while ago of this man who went to go and evangelize to like some teenagers and stuff like that it was a really good video I'll leave a link in the description I'll just show you guys a bit now God loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for your sins 
that means he took the place of your sins. Yeah, so I think as you grow in God, in your relationship with God, you just become more confident in evangelizing and talking to people about Jesus. And again, there's so many different ways you can do this. And you should totally go watch my video that I did it because I gave quite a lot of useful tips that you could use. The next one is from Kaylee. She says, A struggle that comes to being a Christian teen is being one of the very few Christian women in my school. No one wants to take me seriously and most people don't want to talk to me because they think I'll shove Jesus down their throats. And yeah, this is again so relatable. And I am in the same boat as you. I'm the only Christian. Well, like the only serious Christian in my form. And I think like in all of my classes, it seems like no one is a Christian. And I guess it can kind of be hard to live a life for God when no one is a Christian. But my advice to that is just like kind of just find friends that like have the same morals as you because obviously if you have friends that are kind of like the type that want to be doing things that are against your values and against your morals and that's just not the best thing and just like kind of just make it open to everyone that you are a christian that is the best thing that you could do there was a quote that i heard from stephen fertick i don't really remember what it is i'll put it on the screen i have it hung on my wall that's what i live by that's like <laughs> that's what like i read a lot I try and tell myself that my life should be the most important thing that shows other people jesus because like if i go around preaching to people about jesus but then the life I live does not reflect Christ and there's practically no point and no one's gonna see Jesus in me. The next one is from Ruth and she says, one of the struggles of being a Christian teen is staying set apart from the world, especially in a generation like mine where lust is taken over. No one wants to wait anymore. No one respects your decision. If I want to wait, my standards are too high. I lower them so I can at least get someone. Yes, this is so relatable. Yeah, especially like in our generation right now, like every like teenager, most of them are all in a relationship with someone and no one really wants to wait anymore. But I can rest assured that waiting is the best decision that I'm ever going to make in my life because I know so many people who have rushed into relationships and have regretted it because then they've ended up like committing themselves in something they never wanted to commit themselves to. And it's like standing against peer pressure to not be like everyone else. Like never settle for less. In time, God will send the right person to us at the right time. So there's no point trying to rush the process because if now is not your time, now is not your time. And your time will be when God allows the right person to come into your life. Okay, so the last one is from Violet and she says, I think that a very hard aspect of being a Christian teen girl is modesty. It may be somewhat underrated, but in the Bible it says that girls should be modest and wear good clothing. And I think that we should honor that. Especially with peer pressure, it can be hard to wear more modest clothes, but God gives us strength to resist temptation. Yes, amen, God does give us strength to resist temptation. And I get what you mean about the peer pressure thing because like in the UK we wear uniform to school and we have like this thing called mafsy day when you can come in wearing your own clothes and usually there's like a lot of pressure but this is like once in a very long time that we will ever be able to wear our own clothes to school and usually you have girls wearing leggings that are practically see-through and you probably already know what i'm talking about and showing a lot of skin and stuff like that and i feel like sometimes it can be tempting to just be like everyone else and just wear what everyone else is wearing but people see you as different when you come in and wear what you want to wear and like a modest clothing they see you as like you're not following the crowd and i didn't know this so every time it was mufti day and i would come in like wearing a dress and i would feel so insecure about myself now thinking about it i don't even know why and then I think one of my friends was telling me about how like she just loves my clothing and my fashion sense. And then I didn't know that. And I was so insecure and thinking that I was like wanting to be like everyone else. But be yourself, wear clothes that glorify God and that like f don't show too much skin. And just wear, just be modest in everything you wear. And I get it can be hard just because you just want to like be like everyone else. But um, as you said in it, that um, the Bible tells us that we should be modest and wear good clothing and everything that we wear. So that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, thank you for everyone who gave me a comment because this made it so helpful for me for this video. And also, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and people who comment on my videos a lot because every time I see your name, I just kind of feel like I know you guys. And yeah. God bless.